Right now, a member of the Greensburg Six is back in court. Melvin Knight pleaded guilty to torturing and killing a 30-year-old woman. He was given the death penalty, but that was overturned by a state appellate court. Ross Gadotti is in Westmoreland County with what a new jury will decide. What we get today essentially is the retrial penalty phase for Melvin Knight relating to the murder of Jennifer Doherty back in February of 2010. Now, Knight initially pled guilty. He was also given the death sentence. A state higher court overturned that. That's why we are here where we're at today. The jury has one thing to decide here. It's not the trial over again. It's to determine whether or not Melvin Knight faces the death penalty or not. The prosecution, led by District Attorney John Peck, talking to the panel, telling, this that, uh, telling them that there were aggravating circumstances that mean that this individual, Mr. Melvin Knight, should be put to death. And he talked about uh, it being a depraved, despicable, evil act, and it's one that only deserves the death penalty. Melvin Knight is also charged with other things, the aggravating circumstances and related to the murder. And that's why the prosecution wants the death penalty. The defense, meanwhile, sat there and says, Melvin Knight was involved in this, but he didn't murder the woman. He didn't physically abuse her. He did, however, admit to stabbing her. And there are the mitigating factors for the defense, such as he has a limited mental capacity. Also, Tim Dawson, the defense attorney for Melvin Knight, telling the jury, you've got to put your passions aside here and just apply the law. Because in their opinion, Melvin Knight should not face the death penalty because he is considered mentally ill or mentally incapable of understanding just what he did. This trial and retrial, if you will, is expected to last for at least a week and a half. In Greensburg, the Westmoreland County Courthouse, Ross Gadotti, KDK TV News.